Uh, here he comes now, a talented actor whose resume includes film, television, and theater. Now he's back on the big screen in a new film called The Men Who Stare at Goats. Here's Ewan McGregor. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's a half a dozen new films with you and McGregor in them every year. I know, it's a bit. Yeah. It's been busy this year, yeah? Yeah, no, stop. Yeah. You really I like are, it. Yeah. I like yeah. you and McGregor. Ewan McGregor films. <laughs> <laughs> Still chewing the ginger candy. I know. Uh, I like it. I like to work, you know? I've always enjoyed uh, working. There's a part of me that, um, I, think I feel very happy when I'm working. I love my job. And sure. So, you know, Get satisfaction I, I, I out of try it. and um, slot in as many as I can. Hi Michaela, so this morning I turned on the TV because I'm like, I want to watch something as I eat breakfast. So I turned on the TV and I was flipping through channels and I saw Regis and, Regis and Kelly. So I'm like, okay, let's see, they usually have like movie stars. And so I checked the little, the little um, guide button, Ewan McGregor, his, his name is like right there. So um, I was trying to watch that this morning. His, <sighs> sexiness, but um, some guys had to come and fix our fireplace because apparently the fireplace started burning, which is very, very oxymoronish. Um, so the oh, yeah, and another thing, did you know that you pronounce the name like Ewan, like or Ewan, Ewan, I think, yeah, Ewan, instead of like Ewan, like. Or Ewan, I used to say like Ewan McGregor, but now it's um Ewan. Like Ewan, um, which I didn't know, so I feel like dumb, but that's okay. So apart from not being able to see any of him except for like the first two minutes when he wasn't even like they weren't even talking about anything interesting because he was there to talk about the many start goats. Oh, I'm also going to see Amelia tomorrow, or Friday, and he's in that, so I'm excited. So apart from how my morning went, um, your first question was if me or anyone in my family has taken piano lessons. I went to about like five or six lessons, and it was just terrifying me, and it wasn't fun for me anymore. Um, it's my music, that's when my music career is. My sister Julia did for a, a couple years, but then I think she just got lazy. I have to apologize on how white my face looks. I mean, I want my face to look white. I want to be as white as possible. But I just look extra extra. I, feel, I look kind of sick. I look kind of sick. I mean, like hot flashes and. Your second question, which has taken me forever to, like, get the answer for, um, for, like, famous people, celebrities that are, like, your heroes, I could, you know, list the entire cast and crew of the Harry Potter movies and J.K. Rowling and Johnny Depp, Alan Rickman, you know, all of them, but I won't because you already know that. So I picked out four completely, entirely new people <clears throat> for my heroes. First is Ingrid Michaelson. Not only is her music like Shakespearean, but um, just going to her concert, she was like, she seriously, she treated us like we were her best friends and just like telling jokes. She was just hilarious. She was just like a comedian. It was like going to a comedy show. Um, and then she played her gorgeous music on the side. It was really, really, like, she's such a cool person. Really, um, totally eccentric and wacko and awesome. So, yes, she will forever, like, be one of my heroes. Um, second is Daniel Handler. More commonly known as Lemony Snicket. He wrote the um, Sears Unfortunate Events series, which if you haven't read yet, you need to do that. Um, those books, I'm just, I'm serious, they are just <laughs> so awesome. Daniel Handler is 
Lemony Snicket, and Lemony Snicket is an epic genius, so yes. Number three is a person you know and love, maybe? You guys have had to talk about him. Alexander Ovechkin, who is a player on the hockey team, the Washington Capitals, and he's Russian, and he is the best player in the NHL. It's not just an opinion, it's a fact. And on top of that, he's incredibly gorgeous. And just, <laughs> he's one of the most enthusiastic hockey players. Every time he scores, every time he scores, he <laughs> he just smiles so wide and he's just like, yeah, yeah. Like, jump, and then all the players come in and, and he's just like getting so into it. He's like the most passionate player. Um, this one last season, I can't remember who they were playing, but he scored, and he put his, he put his, um, stick on the ice, and he did this dance over it, like it was on fire, like he was warming his hands over it, <laughs> it was the most amazing thing, he was just so cute, shaking his little bum around, and like, yeah, the coach for the other team got really pissed about it, it was just like, I don't care, man, oh, I love that man so much. Number four, I um, I hadn't had a number four until yesterday, and when I was watching the behind the scenes for Lost in Translation, um, Sofia Capula, who is the writer, producer, and director from two of my most favorite movies, Lost in Translation and Marie Antoinette with Kirsten Dunst, she's just like this little short woman and. She's a director and a producer and a writer. She's like the head honcho for these movies. And, but she's so petite and little and really, really sweet. Like, you just want to hug her. Um, and then on the other hand, yeah, she's like, I am the director of movies. Very, very cool person. Okay, my first question, what are like some of your favorite health or beauty products? I couldn't think of anything, so I just decided to go with that. My deodorant. This stuff smells delicious, too. I love Secret. I will always use Secret deodorant. I smell so good right now. <laughs> In the armpit area. Yes, yes, yes. Second question is, what is your four favorite movie production intros for, yeah film companies. And here are mine. Okay, that's actually all the stuff I've planned. Um, hmm. I mean, I answered the questions, I asked some questions. I talked about Ewan, Ewan, whatever his name is now. McGregor. Okay, so I got to see if there was anything interesting to show you. Shocker, there wasn't. But, um, I did go into the kitchen and see I made this glass of. Welch's grape juice. So, I to, so now I had to um, bring it in here to, you know, bring the tradition back. Um, so I guess I'll leave with you with that. I know this was very, very boring. The best part of this video was probably, it's probably Ewan. 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 Who names their kid Ewan? Okay, I have to stop. Um, so. Today is Wednesday. 
I hope you're having a fabulous hump day. And... Uh, uh, uh,